And we are back. This is The Walking Dead World Beyond Season 2 Episode 5? Or is it 4? No, it's... Pretty sure it's 5. I'm pretty sure last week was 4, so yeah. I'm pretty sure this is Episode 2 of Season... Uh, season 2 Episode 5. Let's see if I got that right. It's Saturday night. It's currently 8.11 in the evening. The day before Halloween. Yeah, I waited until the end of the week again because I keep holding off on World Beyond because it's not something that I become desperate to do like I am with Fear or The Walking Dead. But I want to get this done before Halloween tomorrow because I'm going to film 704 of Fear tomorrow. I'm going to try to do World Beyond 206 on Monday or Tuesday. Hopefully. But yeah, I want to get this done before tomorrow. Yeah, I got my nice little Halloween sweater already for today and for tomorrow. And I even got my classic Freddy Krueger claw. You know, you know I had to do this. Granted, it's not Halloween. Halloween's tomorrow, but this isn't going to go public until Halloween. So, you know I had. And I'm going to be doing this for fear tomorrow, too. So, you know I had to do this. I did this not last year, but I did it during the beginning of Season 10. I had my Freddy Krueger sweatshirt. I'm not wearing that though. I really wanted to wear my Halloween sweater. I love the Friday one, but I just love this one too. So, yep. And then once November comes, toward the end of that, I'll start wearing my Santa hat like I do every year for Christmas. Still have that too. So yeah, this is the world, the world beyond, world beyond season two, episode five. I've heard this is a really good episode, like really good. Although. I was spoiled. Yeah, I'm not happy. I was spoiled on one thing. Well, I'm not sure if it's in the episode or if it's the promo or something, but I'm pretty sure there's something that happens in this episode that I... It's spoilery. Granted, it's something that we knew was coming, but like, you know... If you're gonna post spoilers... This is why I like staying off social media, because people post spoilers. <laughs> So yeah, I'm a little annoyed, but still, it is what it is, I guess. But anyway, th this has gone for too long. I don't like making my intros long, but anyway, yeah, hi. So, we're all beyond, let's go. She, uh, she, she's good. This time tomorrow, you can ask her yourself. I like that even though, despite everything, he still, like, wonders if she's okay. It just shows how pure he really is. Hey. We gotta be close, right? Maybe. Be just over this ridge. This plan is gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? Because a plan always goes horribly wrong in these shows. Ah, I hear music. That outpost has music to track walkers, so... It won't be long before this music fills the whole area. Who knows, maybe things could go smoothly? Need an exit strategy. Oh, hello. Damn. Hey. What are you doing here? We came to save your ass. I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, L10. Tell Dennis. What? Uh, I think he'd help us. No. Nah. That's what he wants you to think. He's the enemy. He's one of them. I mean, I don't I think. He, I don't think he's necessarily he's bad, but I don't fully trust okay, him. I just. I don't think he could know the CRM did something like that and be okay with it. Well, we know he did something it's bad. Like you tell him any of this. It's the reason he's out dead. over here. Okay. It's still have a bad feeling though. So you're in. We were kind of eavesdropping. Me. 2 p.m. They're finally letting me. No, no, 
no, Dad, you can't, you can't. I should have told okay. you. Reason a little hell? Not taking no for an answer? It's finally paid off. Uh. Just like it did before. It was a fucking dream. Damn, I thought that was actually gonna happen. Okay, I need to take this off because this is really uncomfortable. And it's because I'm right handed, so I can't pick up my phone, I can't fix the glasses, I can't fix my hat. Because I suck it with my, I suck with my left hand, so I'm right handed, so I have to take this off. I can't even get this damn thing off. There, okay, that feels so much better. Oh, uh, now that I can't. Mention, then once things blow over, we all head west. With the CRM, things don't just blow over. True. If you need help on the inside, you'll this be all alone. This plan is not yeah. gonna go well, that Being I can well, tell you. We found this isn't goodbye. Ugh, so yeah, let's definitely say goodbye, because like, I feel like half the Maybe cast is gonna end up you. dead by the end of the show. Wait, the patrol could be here any minute. You should go. He took Eldon's jacket. Now. Listen, I can pick pocket, I can pick locks, I can help. No, them. if they see you, it could be over. Is this about helping us or killing Huck? Killing Huck. What's in the safe? Try a birthday or something. Your dad's birthday? Voila! What's in there? She knows that she was breaking into the safe. Corporal Pear said that she found you in my office. I was curious if you had lunch plans. It's like, yeah. Do I now? You remember that summer in uh, Block Island? I think you were four, maybe five. At least she can tell as many stories as she wants. I don't trust this bitch. We need to talk. Now we need to hear. No. I wouldn't be coming to you if it wasn't life or death. Please. Yes, help us, Huck. Help us. Oh, but this is all gonna go to shit. They're not part of the CRM code. It's the prison system for death subjects. I don't know how old it fits, but some of the people killed back home are being used for research. Yeah, the test subject. is still being done right here. I need your help finding out what the hell is going on. We need to get the, the fuck out of here right like now. So we can stop.
Male. Age 24. Hey, is that Barco? Healthy. Oh, he was the one that... From last season, he was the one He's losing faith in the CRM. Keep him sedated while we establish baseline vitals. I realize this is my last chance to get this right. Please assure Lieutenant Colonel Complet that I will. Oh, Lila, you're the Lieutenant Colonel has been called to the Civic Republic indefinitely. Wait, 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 is that? Further notice. You'll be answering to me. Yes! Holy shit! Hey! Hey! Holy shit! Okay. So it turns out I actually wasn't spoiled. Well, I guess I was. I was kind of half spoiled. See, the spoiler I thought, or that I saw, because people were posting pics of Jadis on Twitter, but the pic that I saw was from the promo. But I didn't know it was from the promo. I thought it was from this episode. So when I watched the promo after the episode ended, I was like, oh, so maybe I wasn't spoiled, technically. But then she was in the end credit scene. See, that I didn't know. I thought, see, when I saw the pic, I thought it spoiled that she was in this episode. I didn't know she was going to, I, the pic I saw was from the promo. Because then when the episode ended, I watched the promo and I saw Jadis and I was like, oh. So does that mean I wasn't spoiled? But then I heard the soldier's voice at, in the end credits scene. I was like, that sounds a lot like Jadis. And what do you know? It was Jadis. So I guess I was half spoiled? I'm still really happy that she's finally here, though. <sighs> she's like the only CRM soldier that I actually trust. Well, even then, I guess Huck, but like... Jadis, could you give us some info on Rick, please? I know we're not going to see him, but... Is he doing okay? Where is he? That's what I want to know. So overall, this was actually a pretty good episode. I knew the plan was going to go to shit. That was obvious. And we're officially halfway done with the season. Only five more left of the entire show. I definitely think this show is going to end with a bunch of them dying. I don't, I'm not expecting everyone to make it out of the show alive. I feel like a lot are going to die and whoever's left goes to the movies. As for who will die, I don't know. Silas I'm 50-50 on. I don't know. I just get that kind of vibe that he's going to die. Maybe Lila. The end credits scene makes me think Lila might die, because she basically said this is her last chance to get the test subject right. Which was Barca. The test subject was Barca, who was the CRM soldier from last season that was with Elizabeth, and he kept saying that he, like, doesn't believe in them anymore. Now we know what happened to him. It'd be so fucked. If one of the main characters died and they became a test subject, that'd be so fucked up. Imagine if that happens. No, I don't want to manifest that. That'd be so fucked up. And I was right about how the season was going to end up picking up, and it did. And now that Jadis is here, it's about to get even better. We're definitely going to get a huge climactic final battle at the end of the season, and I'm so here for it. I definitely think Huck is going to die. Huck basically turned this episode. She's now helping Leo and the group. So basically, she's turned at this point. I do think it's gonna get her, I think it's gonna end up getting her killed. I don't trust Elizabeth. I do believe that in her own way, she does love her daughter, but I would not put it past her if she, I wouldn't be shocked if she killed Huck. I wouldn't be shocked. For the greater good. Hmm. I feel like there's going to be, like, some kind of twist where someone dies before the end. 
Because, like, the main plot twist of last season was that Huck was a traitor and Elizabeth's daughter. We got at that in episode 8. So, like, imagine if we get another twist around, like, episode 7 or 8. I still think, I'm, I feel like someone's going to die around that time. Like, our first major, major death. But, yeah, overall, I'm not expecting everyone to make it out of this show alive. I just want an update on Rick, because that's so hard to ask for. <laughs> like, Jadis, you're here. Give me an update. Is he doing okay? Where is he? Can we see him? No, we're not going to see him. I wish, but we're not going to. If I had to pick between him showing up in World Beyond and being in the series finale of Walking Dead, I'd pick the series finale. It'd be more perfect if he was in the series finale of Walking Dead. I'm not even sure about that. I don't even think that's going to happen. I mean, I, I want it to, but... I don't know. When it comes to appearances from Rick, I'm kind of just... lowering expectations. I don't think he'll, he won't be on World Beyond. I don't... I would love if he was in the series finale of, of Walking Dead. But I'm not getting my hopes up for that. And now we only have five episodes left. I want to know how the show's going to end. Like, obviously it's going to end with some kind of setup for the movies, but, like, how specifically is it going to end? Like, I feel like there has to be some kind of... Like, they can't just end it to set up the movies. They have to give this show some kind of satisfying conclusion to the arc we've had for two seasons. I'm hoping it's satisfying. Because I still think half the cast is going to end up dead. I think both Iris and Hope are safe. Their dad, I could say 50-50. Lila, I think she's dead. Huck, I think, is dead. Silas, 50-50. Felix, I think, is safe. Same with Will. Percy, 50-50. Elton, I'm just saying right now, you better not kill Elton. You better not. Um, so yeah, I would say a lot of them are safe, but I still think, I don't know, I could be wrong. They could pull a red wedding and just kill everyone. I doubt that though. I'd be shocked if they pulled red wedding and just killed everyone. That'd be bold. And I might actually commend them for it, but I don't think that's not gonna happen. Because it's ballsy. But I don't think they're gonna do it. I do think they're gonna kill a bunch of people, but they're not gonna kill everyone. I don't think that's gonna happen. I want Elizabeth to die. Like I hate her. I love the actress, but I hate the character. <laughs> like she's just so she's a snake. Like, she acts so genuine, but she's a fucking snake and a manipulator. So yeah, final battle, war coming, I'm excited. And what's gonna happen with Silas now, because he got caught. But how did they know? See, I feel like Dennis sold him out. Because when he asked for the keys and Dennis just like straight up gave them to him, I'm like, no, that's too easy. So I feel like Dennis might have sold him out. Because it was like they knew he was coming, basically. That, unless they have cameras on the outside and they got like an alert or something. Could have been that. I don't know, I guess we'll find out next week. But anyway, that is it for now. That is The Walking Dead World Beyond Season 2 Episode 5. Overall, actually a really good episode and I'm really excited for next week's episode. Jadis is finally here. How you been, Jadis? I'm so excited. Like, she was the, she's the main thing that's gotten me excited for this season. And now she's finally here. I'm kind of glad she didn't show up at the end of the season. Like, halfway, I guess that's fine. But, like, I was, I kept thinking she wouldn't show up until, like, episode 7. Thank God I was wrong. But she's here, so I'm happy. Anyway, that is it for now. Be sure let me know your thoughts on this episode and your theories for next week's episode. And I will see you guys next time.